And then we have a low period, a difficult period. And again, this is in the last centuries, but I would say, especially since 1799, the day that Tipu Sultan was martyred in India, you know, the lion, of, the tiger of Mysore. Tipu Sultan, you know, was a great man, incredible man. And, you know, he was the one that he is really like and I don't mean to demean any of the great rulers of Islam, like Sultan Abdul Hamid. But he was a classical Islamic ruler, the tiger of my soul. And he really could outdo the British in everything. Um, he was also a military genius. He was also a, a, a revolutionary, you know, to empower the Hindus, to empower the Muslims and everything. And after 1799, when he is killed, I don't find the likes of him. It's like that's the end. Then we go into a really difficult period. Tipu Sultan is the first one to create rockets of war. You know, the British, when they come, the, the general who defeats Tipu Sultan, who will he be in history? Do you know? You know, he was, it will be called the Duke of Wellington. He is made the Duke of Wellington because he was able to defeat Tipu Sultan. That's not easy to do. And then he takes the rockets of Tipu Sultan and the British begin to use them. In the War of 1812, which is 13 years later, <coughs> when the British tried to take back the American colonies, you know, we say in the American, what is it, national anthem, you know, by the rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in air. What does Sir Francis Scott keep talking about? Tipu Sultan's rockets. Those are the military rockets of Tipu Sultan, which the British had taken from him and they were using against the Americans in Baltimore. You know, but